Good evening, everyone. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit on how to prevent fraud. No matter how big or small the business is, fraud is a serious issue in the business world and should be taken seriously by all business owners. First off, let's start by talking about what is fraud. Information from FBI.gov says that business fraud consists of dishonest and illegal activities made by individuals or companies in order to provide a better financial outcome to those persons or establishments. Information from Kenneth Boyd from Dummies.com says that fraud comes, fraud comes in two main categories, fraud that is conducted by a company and fraud that is conducted against a company. Fraud conducted against a company or a, a company or business can be classified by who the perpetrator is. Companies are vulnerable to all types of fraud and attacks from virtually anyone that the business deals with. For example, vendors and employees. On the other hand, fraud can be conducted by the company itself as well. Businesses carrying out unethical practices in their everyday course of business is, surpri is surprisingly more common than you would think. Fraudulent, like, fraudulent activities by companies can include any of the following, bribing the government and regulatory officials, knowingly violating laws covering product and employee safety, knowingly violating laws covering product and employee safety. I said that twice, didn't I? Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, failing, for report, failing to report information that is required to, be required to be disclosed and misleading employees regarding changes in their pay and retirement plans, just to name a few. Now that we have covered two generic categories of fraud, let's look, at, let's look deeper into a specific type of fraud, which is accounting fraud. <laughs> this information by Stephen Nicholas from investopedia.com is what, so let's start off with what is accounting fraud. Accounting fraud is the intentional <laughs> manipulation of financial statements to create a false sense of corporate financial wealth and involves an employee, accountant, or the organization itself misleading investors and stakeholders. By doing this, a company can either manipulate the company's apparent wealth or can hide the company's profits and losses. In order for accounting fraud to take place, a firm must deliberately falsify financial records. So let's say that a business makes an estimate that must be revised later. This would not be considered accounting fraud because the company did not deliberately um, falsify their information. Now let's say that the CEO of said company releases a false statement regarding the amount of profit that the company received in a certain year. Um, this would be considered accounting fraud because the CEO deliberately falsified the uh, account financial information from the press or whoever it may be. Accounting fraud can, te can technically be executed by anyone in the company, but is most commonly partaken by individuals higher up in the um, employee pyramid so that they can, so that they have actual access to the financial um, information. Now that we have now that we know what fraud is, more specifically accounting fraud, we can look at ways on how to detect fraudulent activities and how to prevent them from happening in, in the future. Um, this information from studies from the, the, um, the DFA, uh, being employed under a company, you have the responsibility of holding your coworkers to the same standard as you, as, well, as yourself. Employees, is, employees need to be aware of certain red flags and giveaway signs that show the possible outcomes of fraudulent as, possible outcome of fraudulent activities. These signs may include the following: significant life changes that ex, that extend um, beyond an employee's means. So, for example, if let's say Joe Schmo working at um, Best Buy buys a Ferrari out of the sun, he may be subject to some fraudulent activities. Next, uh, significant Behavioral or attitude changes. If you notice someone at work is acting way out of the blue or something like that, they may be suspicious of fraudulent activities. Uh, refusal to take vacation or sick days is also a common one in, bus in uh, businesses because um, the, the perpetrator of the fraudulent activities may think that whenever they're away that the company is going to find out about what they've done. 
if any employee has something more than a working relationship with a um, vendor or supplier, this could also be a good indicator that fraudulent activities are taking place. So with this, let's talk about what you do if you suspect fraud. If you suspect fraudulent activities in your workplace, you should talk to someone immediately. Talk to someone in a higher position than you so that so that the person you suspect to or about the person you suspect is carrying the um, fraudulent activities. This will make sure that the problem is heard pro and can be dealt with properly. Next, let's let's talk about how a company can prevent fraud from happening. There are several ways a company can prevent itself from fraud. Companies can implement internal control systems such as rotating roles, dual controls, and regular and regular and unannounced audits. In addition, they can regularly check account bank account records, look at the amount and volume of checks being written, and move checks to electronic channels if possible. Doing this will give the business a more detailed view of the financial state of the company. Encouraging team members to report uh, suspected fraud is also an effective way to fight fraud. A tip, a tip line or anonymous email address may help encourage employee willingness to do so and can be one of the best ways um, to detect fraud. Next, um, setting, up monitoring si and setting up monitoring systems is all critical um, areas to watch employees, customers, and vendors um, and vendors. Uh, using reputable vendors is also a good way to further prevent fraud in your business. Uh, in, so let's look at a specific way to prevent against fraud. Um, information from Feature Space. The Feature Space has introduced their um, ARIC Risk Hub, ARIC or AR. I see, uses proprietary machine learning inventions, adaptive behavioral analytics, and automated deep behavioral networks to secure your um, business. By monitoring real-time customer data, the ARIC Risk Hub has the potential to prevent enterprise and financial fraud from hap even happening. You can go to the next slide, sorry. Um, so this is the ARIC Hub, and it has many different features and it will be sure to keep your um, company safe from any type of fraud, whether that be accounting, financial, um, employee fraud, anything. Uh, next slide. So let's do a quick recap. Now that we have, now that I've delivered all my information, um, let's just go over everything. So first, fraud can be conducted both against the company or by the company. Secondly, Accounting fraud is when a company lies about how, mu how much or how little the company is receiving or any financial fault, um, any information that is falsified to the press or any um, government officials. Um, look out for red flags in your workplace to prevent against fraudulent activities and implement, and implement some different uh, techniques learned in this presentation to protect your business from future financial fraud. Thank you and have a good day.